detail about what to do to keep your engine running cool. Um, a couple things, this is for more modified engines and extreme circumstances. So, like if you're driving one of these, um, of course you're going to have a different set of rules than you are driving a regular bug um, with some uh, differences. Um, but uh, a couple things about engine cooling and how to get your engine to run cooler. So, here, what I'm going to tell you guys about first is uh, um, a couple of things. Um, is the best, the most important thing is again, always make sure that all your holes are all filled. You notice. Um, if you if you are not running these tubes on your on your here these uh, these uh, parts of your like if you're like if you're not running these tubes at all and you have these you make sure that those have freeze plugs in them um, if you have uh, a rear tin and you don't have these tubes on it these holes should be plugged or you should get the the one with no holes in it, the back, the rear tin. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit. So those are the basic things. Okay, again, I'm just going to reiterate those things because that is so important. Uh, well, so many guys miss that, so I just want to make sure you understand that there should be no holes that are open in this tin that do not have something in them like this. So, and that these these holes right here. Uh, if you don't have heater tubes and you're running J2 boxes, um, then you need to have freeze plugs in these holes because you're just venting all the air from your, from your uh, fan. Okay, so a couple of things that you can do to gain better cooling on your bus. Um, so, for instance, uh, the number one thing you can do if you're running a modified engine of any kind, 1776, uh, 1835, 1914, or larger, you know, the larger you get, the more types of things you need to do, um, is you can get, uh, you can do something called full flow your case, um, which uh, I don't have this case full flow, but you can just go to a shop while your engine's apart, and you can have them, they put a fitting in the side of your case, and that's a return fitting, and at the back of your oil pump, right here, I'm just trying to get it in here, right back of your oil pump, which is right up here, um, you would have a fitting coming out of that uh, to pressurize, um, and the tricky thing is getting around your exhaust, okay? And you would have that to pressurize in, pressurize the outside oil, oil cooler. So, in addition to the oil cooler that you have inside your fan shroud, which, if you have a modified engine, you definitely should be running a doghouse fan shroud. So, if you're running any kind of performance modifications on your engine, definitely need to go doghouse uh, most of the time. Um, again, now this engine I'm running is 1776, very, very. Uh, mild performance, very, very low compression, and uh, I actually have a stand-up oil cooler, and it runs super cool. So, there are circumstances that you don't have to run these. Um, but I'm just going to tell you real quick the things that you do need to do if you want to make it run cooler. The more things you do, the better. Okay, again, head temperature is your number one enemy, not oil. Oil temperature is number two, number one head temperature. If you look here, this thing right here is something called cool tin. Okay? And if you notice, it has behind these pushrod tubes, there's two metered holes for the cylinder air to come out of behind the pushrod tubes. Normally, you'll have a different type of uh, shield under here to deflect the air and basically the air kind of goes willy-nilly all over and comes out. What this does is it directs the air to where the cylinders all the way around 
are covered with air and then it takes most of the air and brings it up to that's your cylinder head right there if you see that portion is the cylinder head so cool tin is the number one thing to get done it can be done while the engine is still together in the car but you have to replace your push rod tubes and uh, um, with the uh, spring loaded ones um, uh, like the best ones are the scat ones if you're going to do that they're a little pricey but um, they are a lot the best way to go you have to pull your push rods out of your valve cover and um, put new push rod tubes in so just so you know that you have to do that to get the engine to run cooler so if you take a look there that's what they how they work um, what they do and why that they do work is they meter the air that goes around your cylinder and allows less air to go around your cylinders which there's less heat on your cylinders than on your cylinder head and puts more air to the cylinder heads they do work I don't care what anybody tells you um, they're on Porsches they're on airplanes they're on uh, all the high performance like uh, they put them on square backs um, why do they do that because those engines all have problem with overheating they're trying to keep them running as cool as possible especially on an airplane why would they put it on an airplane if it doesn't work come on this is aircraft quality stuff that I'm telling you to do to your car and guys will tell me that it doesn't work you know so they just don't know anything about cylinder head temperature if they don't know that they look at oil temperature um, so number one is cylinder head temperature the thing that you can do too is get a cylinder head temperature gauge that helps you out to know uh, what you're what you're dealing with and when that gauge gets to a certain point you better make sure you pull over and let that engine cool you know get something to eat get something to drink or whatever um, so if you're the kind of person who's dealing with extreme temperature definitely start with cool tin and with a doghouse fan shroud and a and the other thing when you're doing the uh, full flow case you'll want to also definitely put that uh, spin on oil filter on and the reason you put the spin on oil filter is not just because you'll have a clean oil but it's for that extra quarter oil that you'll get from having that uh, the spin on oil filter that adds like another quart and a half of oil um, to your engine when this thing only has two and a half quarts so that engine uh, oil will take a lot longer to heat up when you have more of it so that's a couple of uh, modifications you can make um, the other thing you want to do is always check your jetting make sure that you are plenty rich uh, if you run your engine too lean um, you should be pulling your spark plugs out and making sure that they're a bit black and if they're really light gray then you've got a problem with too lean so make sure that your your uh, spark with your uh, jetting is really uh, rich if you're running a stock carburetor like I am um, uh, 125 to 135 is depending on the engine cam modifications and everything that you have um, this particular engine is very very low compression so I only have to run a 125 and it's almost too rich um, if most of the time when you're running 8 to 1 or better you need to be at a 135 main jet so and and then make sure that your uh, your transition jets are, are jetted accordingly uh, which are you can see one right there there's sometimes two of them this carb has one and because this is a you know uh, what is it 34 picked 34 I believe 32 30 30 pick 34 one of those ones okay so uh, I'm not sure which manifold I have on this yeah it's a small small manifold so it's probably 32 or 30 uh, pick 34 so um, a couple of more things you can do to make your engine run cooler is um, I'm just trying to think here for a second make sure that when you do add your oil cooler that you add it so that it doesn't block your fan a lot of guys will put it in behind the fan behind the engine do not put it where it's it should either have that or have its own fan 
Um, you can get an electric fan and hook it up that way if you want. Um, that also helps. Make sure also that you're running premium fuel. A lot of guys will cheap out and get regular gas. Um, do not run regular gas in your Volkswagen most of the time. Um, there's a few circumstances that you can actually run something other than premium. If you have very low compression, you better know your numbers um, and know exactly what your compression ratio is uh, so that you can um, run that if you're going to run something other than premium fuel. Most of the time, you got to run premium. It's a Volkswagen. They they all said on their 91 octane or better on the uh, on the on the uh, uh, label underneath the gas um, where you put the gas in. In fact, they had leaded fuel back then, so this is a lot uh, less uh, more for, less forgiving fuel than what came in these things originally. The other thing you can do on the on your in your modified engine is to always when you're driving your car down the road um, if you're on the highway for a while uh, slow down a little bit and then floor it and if you hear any pain your engine's running hot um, constantly be listening to that engine to let it tell you what's going on and if you do hear pinging slow down um, that's the number one thing cause of engine overheating is people drive too fast so or they push their car too hard when they're going uphill or they don't have enough RPMs. so the if you're running a freeway flyer a lot of times um, it might be your fan might, might not be spinning fast enough because you're re-engineering the engine by changing the gearing in your transmission so um, anytime you do re-engineering you're gonna have to do that all throughout of your whole modification so if you change your transmission gearing, you need to make sure that you have the proper horsepower for that and the proper torque. And also um, make sure that your, your fan is uh, spinning fast enough and your RPMs on the freeway or in the opt optimal range. So what you want to do is first is, is uh, if you're having a problem with it pinging and you do check it, uh, slow down a little bit and then floor it and check and see if it's pinging. If it is pinging, then you, you know slow your speed down a bit for a while, and then do the same thing, and check it, floor it again, and see if it pings. And then if it still continues to ping, then you need to pull over and let it cool down. So if you're uh, in an area, this is basically how you. If you're in the desert, you know you're in a hundred plus temperature. That's the basic ways to check your car to make sure that you're not having an engine problem with it running hot. Um, you don't always need gauges to do that. You, you should be able to hear the engine and know um, that if it's pinging like that, it's running hot. You know, that's really hard on that engine. It, it shouldn't do that at all. Your engine should never ping. Your Volkswagen engine should never ping. If it's pinging, you've got a problem. Uh, start looking at all those things that I've been telling you about and start doing some modifications to make it run cooler. All right, so that's the basic things that I can think of. Um, there are probably others. Um, and running a, a, a separate fan for your outside, outside oil cooler is always a good idea. That can help a bit. But that number one thing I would say that you can do to run your engine cooler besides, you know, making sure that you have it, all these holes filled up, no holes should be open in the back part of your engine, is to add the cool tin. And it does work. I mean, it will give you five to ten degrees off your engine temperature without a problem. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video.